But yeah, yeah was... we, we were able to check that out this morning before the tournament. So that, that was really hype. I enjoyed it. Uh, if you if you live in the area and you haven't checked it out, please check it out. It's really cool, especially if you're just like a general Nintendo fan, which I'm assuming most of you are because you're watching Smash You're here. Ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to assume. But, you know. So definitely check that out. If you, and if you've never, if you're not close to here and you ever had a chance to go to New York, the... Uh, Nintendo Store is actually really close to Times Square, so while you're visiting Times Square, because you're going to visit Times Square, right? to make a stop, check out the Nintendo Store. We actually posted a lot of pictures on our social media, so yeah. check, it, check those out as really well. Cool. Just another reason to get you motivated to come to New York and visit the Nintendo Store. But for now, we have Mr. E versus Suarez. Yep. Okay, so we're going to start off here on Smashville. Yep. Oh, and hey. We're going straight into it. You got KK here on the mic. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Try to go for a quick offensive option there with that uh, up B. One nice thing about Yoshi is, uh, especially in this game, his narrow out of shield so quick, it hits very low. Oh, is, okay, gonna have the double jump, charge the F smash, try to get Mystery maybe overshooting that uh, up B a little too high. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a slight punish, but as far as starting Ooh. off really great here, another command grab. Oh, you can go for the bomber and it connects the at the up. optimal. Optimal height, too. Yeah, and we see how aggressive Suarez has to be. He doesn't want to give Mr. E that space to really abuse the disjoint that is Lucina. So, and another thing I was trying to mention earlier is uh, the uh, Yoshi shield actually cannot get shield broken. Every other shield in the game shrinks when it gets, uh, you know, weakened, but Yoshi's shield just darkens. So, uh, it's actually impossible to shield broke Yoshi. Wow. That's crazy. That's like just ignoring a complete game mechanic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eggs, they're strong. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, uh, in previous iterate, like in Smash 4, it didn't really matter because Shield was so broken. Yeah. But in this game, it actually matters. There's a, there's a lot of situations where people get Shield broke. Man, Suarez is really running away with this lead. Already 72% on Mr. E's second stock here. That's true. Getting another command grab, putting a good amount of damage, a couple of dub tilts. Double up there on the F tilt. And uh, in, uh, in this game, it's that F tilt is so good. It's a combo starter now, leading to the up air chain. Tech chase? No, not going to nail it. Or is up smash that shield with the rage almost takes it. Wow! We went to the depths for that nair. I mean, Yoshi can do that. He has, of course, you know, an amazing second jump, ton of height. Okay, the nair, ledge trap, finally. Mystery gonna get himself on the board in terms of stocks. Suarez still rocking two fresh stocks. But another command grab. He's getting so many setups and just like interactions are like going in his favor because of that command grab. Oh, oh. oh. man, I thought he got spiked off stage. Yeah. Jeez. Especially like with the way the camera is positioning, sometimes it's difficult to tell where you actually are on the stage. So that very well could have been off stage. <laughs> See Suarez, when he's double jumping, he's not opting to use his aerial. If, once you use an aerial, you lose the armor. So a lot of Yoshis, they'll like double jump, try to swing aggressively, get nipped out of their double jump, and that's a wrap. Yeah, of course, there's that second jumper. Utilizing the directional air dodge just so they can recover a little bit lower. Yeah, but right now, Mr. E taking full control. At, uh, Suarez has not been able to play for quite some time now. That's true, but Suarez is still on his second stock. Maybe getting sent all over Smashville. But at the same time, you know, he's got a lot of room to play with. He's, he's at least got 71%. But Mr. Man, Mr. E is doing an incredible job. Just every time Suarez goes high, catches him. Goes for the ledge, ledge traps him. And look at that. He's still not playing the game. This right, he was able to use a, a nair out of shield, but... Mr. E was able to get the punish in the back air of the zone. Whoa, we are going deep off stage. I like the positioning for the directional air dodge. And the up throw, is it enough? I don't think it's enough yet. I'm just going to opt for the pummels. Yeah, I think the next grab would do it, but we see a forward air connect. Yeah, so what? And that was just really great pressure from Mr. E, not committing to anything and really just scaring Suarez to feel like he has to fight his way out of the corner. Yeah, good dancing blade. Oh, oh F air dodge? Okay. Oh, man. He almost just lost. <laughs> My heart just skipped the beat there for, for your boy Suarez, man. He just almost died at 23%. Yoshi was reaching, too. He was like, oh, make it. I still love the animation when Yoshi drops the shield and, like, the egg just shatters and explodes. But there's the down beat. Just enough to take oh. Mystery off the and top. And a pop-off from Suarez. Yeah, he, he worked. He almost lost that game. And uh, considering how much of a commanding lead he had, just goes to show, man, Mr. E not going to falter in that situation. 
So good stuff as far as taking game one. I mean, he was throwing, he was, he did reveal his hand quite a bit in that game one. He showed off a lot of his tricks. Showed that he's also not afraid to go very deep to, to contest Mr. E's recovery. Yeah. And Suarez actually got upsetted earlier by uh, a Shulk today in winner's bracket. So That's he right. has quite, quite the run through losers. Okay, well, Soul Arts, I believe is the name of the yes. Shulk that upset him. Soul it. Arts. Soul Arts, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Good stuff, Soul Arts, for uh, upsetting Suarez. But now we have Mr. E versus Suarez. Battlefield is going to be a staging choice for Mr. E. It's not really uh, too big of a surprise. You see, you see Mr. E actually go to this stage quite a bit. Oh, gets the downer, but doesn't fully connect there. Ooh, that would have been big damage. And wow, fair right into the grab. Suarez not uh, not skipping a beat here on this offense. And I like that Suarez has the understanding that, you know, his his big attacks, especially that come out really fast, or tend to put his opponents into shield more often than not. And he's just so good at utilizing that command grab to just invalidate that shield. Yeah. Suarez, of course, like any good Yoshi, is having a great mix-up game with these neutral beats. This character's air mobility is absolutely wild. I believe he's like the fastest character in the air, air mobility-wise, or at least like top three, top five. Oh wow! And delaying the dancing blade just a tad bit, just so he can get make sure the uh, last hit connects there. Nice stuff. Okay, that back air does connect. Set up for the Nair, gets the trade, but sends Mr. E towards the stage, which gives him that opportunity to tech and just in immediately upbeat. Still hanging on to that stock, getting another dancing blade, good damage, poking with the Nair. And he's continuing to push Suarez to the left side of the stage. Dragging up quite a bit of damage on the, on the way there. I just love to tail slap for good measure. Like, <laughs> let me just get some damage real quick. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Wow, that hit him. Okay. Up there, hitting very low to the ground, and damn, that was very surprising. That was very surprising. See the command grab getting punished by a Dancing Blade. More damage getting put onto Suarez. Okay, Suarez has the damage, but Yoshi, quite the heavy character. Look at the way that, look at where Mr. E is actually applying pressure. In case Suarez does in fact go high, if he ought to go for the, the down being reset on the platform. Mr. E will be there as well because that's where exactly where it's going to be falling. Still able to apply pressure. Oh, finally, Suarez gets back on the stage. Can he get something started here? There's the A for the two frame. Roll behind into the grab. Suarez tossed right back on stage. 155%. Not approaching the fire emblem up though just yet, but a back air across stage. Almost enough to take a stop. Yeah, a lot of these kill throws as well, like kind of rage dependent. The, the rage really affects the percentage range. And that yeah, right there, just waiting patiently. And finally, the neutral will connect. Look at that. Wow. And see how far he kicked it back as well. Dude. Like I said, when this air mobility is crazy, and especially with these B reverses. And Yoshi can B reverse with multiple uh, specials as well, mostly the uh, up B and the neutral B. Right, but there's another neutral B applying a little bit more damage with the forward air. Ooh, right there. Uh, Mystery spacing out and just avoiding these grabs. Instead of just immobilizing himself with the shield, opting to reposition and, you know, just whip punish some of these neutral beasts. Yeah, but getting an egg into a forward air as far as answering back. He's trying to outspace Lucina's sword. It'd be very difficult. Yeah, Yoshi's tail doesn't have quite the range, but you know what? Suarez got to try in the drop zone. You see how risky of a play Suarez had to do to even try and get that stop there. That's true, 101%. He's going to need to make more plays like that. First, he's got to get Mr. E off stage. Take good shield. Ooh, the, the tad delay there on the fourth dancing blade hit. Yeah, directional air dodging right back to the ledge. And we're going to see another forward throw of Quick Suarez off stage. Let's see, if Mr. E able to connect one of these nares that he continues to throw out. Ooh, the, oh, okay. Barely getting that last hit of the down air. And yeah, Suarez carried the first hit, but he had to go right back in the shield because the second hit was on its way from the neutral air. Okay, you can see a regrab. Oh, I like that drift going right onto the stage there. Oh, and the double jump through the nair, but Mr. E very aware, very used to that situation. I'm pretty sure these guys play a decent amount. And catching them with the up air. And it was just, I feel like with the tri tri platform layout, there was uh Mr. E was so comfortable, she's like, oh yeah, if you wanna jump from ledge <laughs> and try to go on one of these platforms, I have this up air. Yes. 
Yeah, so that's probably one of the reasons why Mr. E favors that stage more than any other. I think that's like his favorite counter pick. Yeah, yeah. Definitely seemed very, very comfortable. Now you hold the tweak sign. I'm, I'm going <laughs> All right. So I didn't know Kuba was a tweak fan. Hey, let's go, Kuba. <laughs> Nairo in the crowd. Uh, oh, big yawn. Sleep. <laughs> Sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Game three between Mr. E and Suarez. Yep, one a pop here. So three, looks like Smashville. One, yeah. Go. Smashville once again. Yeah, and Suarez really down for, I mean, Suarez wants less room because essentially he has to get in through this sword and make make it happen, right? So Smashville, the uh, smallest stage of, out of our legal stage list. Man, Mr. E just not giving him the space to do so. No, he's not. And another forward air connects on Suarez. Okay, there's there's wow. a Yoshi conversion. I like the reset there. The egg almost hitting uh, Mystery on the way out of the egg lay there. Okay, forward air onto Mystery shield. We see that up out of shield. Very Mystery fast cross up. Yeah. Oh, is that, is that the double kick? Okay, so the air dodge safely to the ledge. And, and Mr. E, I, I said Suarez needs to get aggressive, but Mr. E is just not letting him breathe right now. Forward air into there. And then Mr. E answering right back with the down tilt. Oh, going for a left jump in the back air. Very smart. Doesn't need it, though. It, it, it just seems so hard for Suarez to uh, really contest these forward airs, these up airs, back airs, uh, you name it. Nair, with every single one of Lucina's aerials, it's just so, so hard because Lucina has that range advantage. We're going to see another back throw from Suarez going very deep, trying to make another play like we saw similar in these other games. Air dodge to the ledge, but Mr. E is fine and dandy with that because he can just continue this Lucina ledge trap. I mean, it seems to be like pretty, pretty standard play for Mr. E. Ooh, the He's parry the game on top. Play. You, you know you're getting confident when you're throwing in the parries, too. <laughs> Getting more pummels and more forward throws from Mr. E. Oh, that was a good trade going in Mr. E's favor. And up B to take the stock. That Look dolphin this. slash is so cool. Yeah, and it's very, very quick out of shield as well. We saw Mr. E even able to reverse it out of shield to answer um, these cross-ups coming out from Suarez. And guess what? When your character is one of the best air mobilities, you're going to usually go for a lot of these cross-ups. But Mr. E has an answer to it. That's true. The down B from Suarez connects. Not enough to take Mr. E off the top. Still, it's a good answer to have a back throw. Oh, okay, eggs, eggs. Ooh, double egg right into the up air. Suarez weaving, uh, weaving the needle there. Mm -hmm. Carefully threaded, and that was exactly what he needed. Nair, oh, okay, double he Nair. He definitely wanted him to fly to the left there. Yeah, yeah, he so wanted to go for some like forward air shenanigans. Yep. Yep. You already know, man, these Yoshis be scheming. <laughs> they are scheming you off stage. Okay, number there connects. Okay, okay. Good pummels. Oh, wait a minute. The egg lay. Oh, oh my god. Wow. He murdered him. Dude, that was so. I like, I don't want to say that was sick because it was Yoshi, but that was sick. <laughs> that was sick. Yoshi's Whoa. allowed to have some cool stuff. And now we see Suarez really popping off and coming out here in game three. He completely erased that deficit. Took the eraser and said, Give me that. This is gone. Give me that lead. Suarez is popping off right now. Fun fact, I'm actually in the Yoshi Discord. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm yeah, you're the idiot. copy Yoshi, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but Suarez, man, he brought this guy. He was down an entire stock and, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, okay, that direction, direction. Off, okay, he had the double jump, he had the double jump. All right. You know, let my heart rate go down a little bit. Okay, Suarez able to make it back to stage. Retreating to the platform, very smart. Immediately using the double jump just so he has that armor in case Mr. E is able to land a forward air or a back air. Oh, oh. He, he bet it all right there. Tried to catch Mr. E positioning himself for some kind of aerial approach. Uh, but Mr. E had that shield discipline coming in and is able to close it out. And man, Suarez is, is incredibly fun to watch. That was crazy. And now that I think about it, we actually haven't seen that many up smashes land from Suarez. That's typically a move that we see like quite a bit from Yoshi's. Well, it's just hard because Suarez usually, I mean, just Yoshis in general, their main space into his forward air, right? But it has the startup, and guess what? Lucina's fair is faster, and it has about the same range, but it has the disjoint. So it, it's so hard for Suarez, I feel like, to just generally space Mr. E out with the fair. That makes a lot of sense. OK, 
Okay, we're running right back. Interesting, Mr. E sticking with, uh, with Smash, though. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I guess he didn't want to ban it. Yeah. That's true. Alright, so we'll see if uh, Suarez can ride some of that momentum. And you know what? He didn't. Ooh, ooh, 70%. Jumping right through that uh, counter aerial as well, that reversal. And true, we even see the trade going, sending both players to the opposite side of the stage. They're landing forward as goes in Suarez's favor. Wow, oh, he oh. read that so hard. But I like that we're starting to see all the callouts come out from Suarez. Yeah, yeah. Getting a little bit more confident. Even though that up smash didn't really work out for him, that game three. Oh, doesn't get the trade he wanted, though. And the forward air, still not enough. I don't think he has a double jump, I don't think he has a jump. He doesn't. Oh, the air dodge was just enough to get him back on stage. But yeah, even though that up smash didn't work out for Suarez, you know, some players, they'll start losing confidence in their hard reads if, if that situation happens to them. But I like how Suarez is staying confident. You see another trade from both our players, sending Suarez really far off stage with the up tilt into up air. And that's going to be the first talk from Mr. E. Good old Fox confirm coming out here for Suarez. Oh, up yeah. tilt into the <laughs> up air. Okay, but can he survive? Can he get some mileage here? Can he okay. get tossed right back off stage? No raid, so no kill throw for Mr. E. Double jumping, and I, I think that's, that's one of the reasons why Suarez feels so comfortable. That lineup just, oh, wait, okay, A, he should be able to make it back, and goes for the low directional air dodge, I like that. Yeah, he's been utilizing a low directional air dodge quite a bit. Oh, wait for the air dodge. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Again, Suarez gets the right read, but just a tad bit off the positioning, man. These us matches aren't working out for this. If you're a Yoshi fan, like, maybe you need to send some, like, Yoshi communication to Suarez. Keep going for those up tilts and those up airs. They seem to be working out. Yeah, and I mean, that, it's just unfortunate because, like I said, he just had the right read. Yep, just misspaced it, but that, that dash grab is going to get punished by Dancing Blade. Down tilt beating out the egg and still hitting Yoshi. Very interesting. Slicing right through that. Oh, saves the double jump and goes straight for that middle platform. I think Suarez is very comfortable with, with the stage because that double jump just lines up really nicely with that center platform. Not only that, and then, of course, it'll reset any uh, any resources that that Suarez used during his recovery. It's starting to seem like an amazing Yoshi stage the more I think about it. Yeah, I mean, at least Suarez is, you know what I mean? Like, even if it's technically not, it, he definitely seems super comfortable on it. Okay, chasing underneath the platform. He's looking for an up tilt into an up air. Okay, Ooh. back air connects. That's what he, that's all he needed. Coming in hot from center stage with the tail slaps, and that move used to be incredibly bad, but now in Smash Ultimate, it, it is a kill move now. What, what move does Yoshi have that is bad? Uh, egg roll? Side beam? Oh, yeah, side I that exists. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> one of the worst. But you can't punish it! It's one of the worst moves in the game. I hear you can't punish egg roll. Oh, okay. Wait, the air oh! Throw. Gets Did the he get DBC. the jump? Did he get the jump? No, he, he didn't. didn't. Oh, wow, Mystery saving that. Why did that send Mr. Suarez so far off to the side? That's so weird. Yeah, he kind of got like that late hit, but cross stage, the neutral air will seal out the stock. Speaking of sealing out stocks, can Suarez do the same to Mr. E, or can Mr. E possibly mount this comeback, possibly close this set out 3-1, uh, but you know me, man. I, I want to see a game five. These Dude, two especially with the way that these two have been going at it. Yes, of course I want to see a game five. And you can see the egg throw into a heap. Totally expected that. He had the follow-up, already buffered that forward there. Oh, but not that time. Covering multiple options, setting up the egg, and we even see how comfortable Mr. E is off stage, uh, slashing at the egg. The parry into the forward smash, slowly clawing his way back into this stock. Okay, going for reset on the on the ledge and still getting chased all over the stage. He's staying on the platform once again. Going for a, okay, yeah, no cross-up. Going out, shield breaker. Going there. Deep. Oh no, that is so unfortunate. <laughs> yes, the lasting hitbox of Nair just didn't last Retracting at the last possible frame and Dolphin Slash going to close out the set for Mr. E. Wow, that, that was unfortunate. That was a nail biter. Yeah, and I, I, I will say this, Mystery stalled out to the, like enough time so he got the sweet spot up beat, which it made it, it looked like it was on Tech I'm not 100% sure if I saw the red splash or not. Uh, it looked like it to me, but nonetheless, man, really good uh, stuff. Suarez trying to get really aggressive for the edge guard because he has to, right? Like, yeah, it, and he was successful in that play previously in the set multiple times. That's yeah, really the first time we saw it like kind of backfiring mm -hmm. on, in, on him like that. So. But nonetheless, Mr. E, I mean, both of those players played incredibly well that set. Man, that, that game number three was 
wild. <laughs> that game three was wild. Suarez was popping off, but um, gonna finish or what? 